everything has changed and our entire hunt has been interrupted by brawling male lions and we've just seen a one young male i think one of our younger ones he's actually racing over there manu can you see him off to the right there he's come racing along oh little one he's so frightened he's been beaten up by a big male and this big male oh there he goes again he's going for him This is not going to be nice to watch. For our sensitive viewers, you may need to actually you may need to actually switch off. The two big males have cornered the two younger males. And hopefully can you are you struggling with your ambient there? It's on. Listen. Oh, they're scrapping badly. I was a little bit concerned that we might actually end up with a fight situation where the older males could potentially kill the younger ones. I don't know if they're related. The females have gone. The females have gone completely. Where did they go? Doesn't matter. We'll come back, find them. They, I think they're getting out of the way. Here comes our young males. It's our two young boys and two massive males racing after them. The females have skedaddled. They want no part of this. They're not going to hunt now. They're going to get out of the way, which makes complete sense. There goes our young boy over there. One young male there. Keep. And then the two big boys off to our left. So we've got two of our young males. You can see him running. He got out of that lightly. But here comes the big male once again to chase him away. This just goes to show how utterly unexpected life can be out here. This was not what I was expecting to experience at all. I thought we were going to see a wildebeest get caught. I was not expecting to get caught up in the middle of whatever family dramas are happening here. He's going after the one. We're going to stick with him. The other one is going off to the left after the second young male. Can you see him there, Manu? I'll keep up with this big boy. There he goes. He's racing now. This is insane. This is not what I was expecting. Look at him go. Okay, come, let's keep up. This is going to be quick. Hold on. All of a sudden, I just heard the sound of brawling. Now, I think the males might have got to the point where they feel like they've shown the young males off, but I'm not sure. I can't see the young male anymore. If he just keeps going and if they just keep acting submissive, they are going to, they're going to get away with it. They'll be okay. The wildebeest are going to start stampeding. We have to start to be careful now. Male charging into the middle of the wildebeest. I don't know where the females have gone, but I'm almost certain they would have gone as far away from this as possible. It's amazing. They don't panic when they can see. There's our male. The younger male's disappeared. I don't even know where he went. I've lost track of the other male as well. Oh, is that him up ahead? Just a little bit to the left, Manu? Yeah, there he goes. There he goes. He's racing off. I think... Oh, he's running in between the wildebeest. He's not even paying them any attention. The male's no longer running after him. He's just roaring. The roars of the second male. LMI, these young males are actually bonded together. I've seen them together several times, and actually, ultimately and accidentally, they were responsible for one of the most terrifying moments I've ever had out in the bush in my entire life, getting caught in the middle of the wildebeest stampede that they were partially responsible for. 
That was not their fault, though. Um, so they are bonded together. Would they bond together to fight off these males? Yes, at some point, but not yet. They are not ready to face a male or two males of this size. They are absolutely not old enough yet. Uh, those two young boys are only around about, I would say, two and a half to three years old, whereas these male lions are in their prime, they're territorial males, and they are not impressed with life. You can see it in their body language. He's got a bit of a limp, so perhaps our young boy managed to get a claw in here or there. Okay, let's keep up with him. He's going to row racing off to find the second male. What I've been stopping and listening for is the sound of fighting. We know the first male got away, the young male. I'm not sure what we'll call him. <laughs> I better not name them anything. It'll become official and I'll be in trouble. David, I think they're done. I think these older males are done, but I'm not sure. It's territorial. If the two boys, the two younger boys, have been showing signs of being territorial, I think these two boys would track them down until they were absolutely certain they were out of their territory. But because they're young and because they're submissive, and you could see even in that fight, he was quite submissive. I think that it's safe to say that... I think that it's safe to say that they're going to give it a rest now, depending on where that second young male is. Oh, this is such an act of faith driving through here like this. Everybody just hold on because we could hit anything at any moment. Manu, I mean you as well. I don't want to slam your face into the camera. I would feel very bad. He goes out. He's running now. The young, the second young male, I've been listening for signs of another fight because that's what alerted me to what was going on. And I haven't heard anything, so I think he's okay. But this, he, it is the older male. Oh gosh, this is gonna get confusing. The two young males are about six months apart. One is slightly older than the other. The youngest one has just got away. The older one is the one that was being targeted by the second big male. We need numbers or letters or something to keep track of this all. There is a second option. The second option is that these young boys are known to these males and that they are potentially their fathers and that it's got to the stage where it's time to boot their boys out. I don't think so though. I think these boys have been distracted by the presence of the wildebeest and the young males kind of got away with being around. They were roaring, but sort of that side but because I don't know which pride those young males came from, I can't confirm anything. That was not what I was expecting. Okay, we're gonna catch up. There's the second male up ahead. Do you still, do you want to see the, the greet up between the two of them, Cursed? They are quite, he is quite close. Here he is, he's up ahead. He's over there. I don't know where the second young male is. Yep, we're gonna get some signs of territorial display. Let me duck my head down. Yep, scent marking. Let's get them together because they're probably gonna roar. Now that they've seen off the younger boys, they're going to show just how dominant they are. Okay, all right, he's stopped for now. He's checking out his surroundings. The older male is at the back. Let me just show you. There he goes, he's walking there. There he is over there, and there's the second male over there. That's not the young male, is it? No, it's the older male. <laughs> that did look very creepy. So we do use our spotlights out here to find the animals that we're looking for and to keep track in situations where we're not going to do them any any harm by using it. Obviously when there's a hunt on or something like that, then the spotlight goes away. Sometimes we use it to just make sure we're not about to get in between the animals or sabotage anything. That was intense. There was one moment there where I was genuinely a little bit afraid they were going to, we were going to see one of those really serious male lion fights. They just look so hyped and full of aggression. Here we go, our boys coming together. 
Well done, buddy. We showed them. Those young upstarts. <laughs> and thus ends the violence for the evening. Good bonding session. All right, I'll shout if I think that they're going to roar. What I'm going to do now is send you back to Taylor and her elephants.